Okay, so here's a simple simulation in the Cadence SIG Explorer simulator. We have a simple device here. It's a 74 ALVC 244 output model. Here we have a ideal transmission line. We have a parallel termination resistor that's being swept over a range of, of values. And we have an input of that same device, uh, the 244 device here. So very simple setup. We do the simulation now by clicking that button up here. It doesn't take long. The results of the simulation is down here and the trick is that we click here and then we right click here and do view waveform. That brings up the simulation results in this uh, other tool called SIGWAVE. So we see result of one simulation, the next simulation. This this is actually the one that looks, looks best, you know, pretty flat here. So no significant reflection, same thing down here. Simulation number two, this is the one that looks best. So let's see what that is. And simulation number two is here. And surprise, 50 ohms. So 50 ohm transmission line, 50 ohm termination resistor is what works best. Well, big surprise. All right, going back to that other curve here. So then you may start to wonder what's going on here. There's, there's something funny going on here. Uh, we see this, we see it down here again, we see a little reflection of it. So what is that? Well, if we go back to the simulation, I, I suspect it has something to do with input capacitance of this device here. So in order to check that, we could just do a quick experiment. Uh, let's um, get this one selected. And then I'll replace it with something called a dummy probe. A dummy probe in this tool is just a probe. It doesn't do anything. It just looks at the signal. Whereas the input model has all the capacitance and, you know, clamp diodes and whatever. All right. So now we have this dummy probe in there and uh, we can do the simulation again. So let's do that. All right. And this time we only want to look at simulation number two. That's the one we know should look best. Here we go. And because there's only one simulation, it's showing us both output and the input. So we don't care about the output. So we just look at the input and we see it's just perfectly flat here. Let's try to add a little bit of a capacitance across this one. So in order to add a, a part here, we click this add ele element uh, button up here. Uh, select from all these different things, we select something called generic element and we can find a capacitor there. So here is our capacitor. Click OK to go away. And uh, we want that capacitor hooked up across the input. So that's what we do here. Uh, and then we want to change this to maybe six puff. So there you go. Let's do the simulation of that. Again, four simulations. All right, let's look at those simulations. And sure enough, it comes back in here, right? Let me change this one to, you know, really fat red one so we can, yeah, we can easily find that one. And then let me go back to the first one we did, uh, simulation number two. Oh, I think I made that one red also. So let's, let's select blue for this one. Uh, okay, so with the capacitor, it's blue. Let's uh, turn this one on, the first one we did with the real input model. Okay, so that's the red one. So you can see it's, it's pretty much the same thing. So the thing that's creating this bump here is uh, the input capacitance. All right, so just a quick uh, video to show you some of the things you can do.